Hey, this is Wyatt. Um, I'm just going to show you how to take the Genesis controllers apart. Um, there are a few different variants, and I've always had a little bit of trouble with them, um, particularly the newer revisions, um, getting them fully apart, mainly because the D-pad is somewhat fixed on the later ones. A lot of people on YouTube and uh, in textual descriptions just say to leave the d-pad in when they take them apart, but that's kind of dumb because there's lots of dirt that accumulates in that crack. I've already cleaned it out of these, but you can see the crack in between the edge of the d-pad and like the base that it sits in on the layer controllers. And um, that's just because they're designed a little differently than the really early ones. And um, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to get in there and clean out under the d-pad because a lot of controllers will really need it. So there are a few different variants of um, the three-button controller. There's the earliest kind, which has the red print, makes it pretty obvious. Um, and they have an old, kind of, in my opinion, cruddy D-pad, but you can remove it easily. So um, I have one that I've already taken apart here because I have multiple of that kind of controller. Uh, easy to tell, as I said, the red print. Also, you'll notice that the Genesis logo right here is in two tones of gray. Um, the late ones, all that I've seen at least, are just one tone of gray. Uh, I think that changed around the VA7 revision of the Genesis whenever that was released because my old VA7 that I sold also had the one tone gray, but my VA6 has two tone. But that's just a guess. Anyway, so you can see that pops out really easily on the early controllers and leaves a nice big hole there. Uh, unfortunately, early controllers kind of, in my opinion, suck to play with, so I don't use them very much, and uh, while they're easy to clean, that's not enough for me. So, later revisions. Uh, this is also a three button, um, as you can see, it's a later one, and it uses a different D-pad mechanism, which is a lot like the one the six button controller, and in the later um, Sega systems like the Saturn. So, uh, not, the Dream not the Dreamcast though. Anyway. So, to get this out, um, you'll actually, there are two different kinds of the three button that use this sort of D-pad, which is a little bit wobblier, and it doesn't fall out when you uh, take out everything behind it. So, two different revisions that I've seen, at least. Um, one of them, you can just uh, take something narrow and pointed, or just narrow and hard, like probably a toothpick would work. I don't have a toothpick, so I'm not sure if it's strong enough. But you take something small, I'm using a precision screwdriver, and if I can get this to focus in here, uh, I guess, yeah, there it goes. Then, this is hard to do one-handed, push down in this little hole, uh, which you can now see through. So, yeah, push down in that hole with something uh, pointy and narrow, and um, the D-pad will pop right off. And then if I flip this over, this will fall out, like so. Okay, now you can see how they differ. This is the later D-pad version. Um, it has this nice little rounded hole. In my opinion, they play a lot better. But yeah, I already cleaned this out, but yeah, I ran a Q-tip around in this ring right here with um, rubbing alcohol and then I just let it dry and put it back together and it looks great. So yeah, that's one version of the later three button. And uh, the six button controller here uses the exact same sort of deal. Um, however, my other three button is a little bit different. It's not too much different, but a little different. Now, I don't have two of this variant of the three button, so I'm gonna have to take this one apart. Uh, let me just try to do that really fast. If I can, drop up the camera. If I can. I'm kind of dumb because I'm using a phone here, but what am I gonna do? I don't have a tripod. So my real camera would be much better in this case. So. Anyway, yeah, I got it propped up, and let me just take it apart. One screw. Uh, 
that in there. There you go. There's three. Come on, get in there. Hard to do in front of the camera. Four. That one came out. I'll just put it with the other. Uh, five. And six. This will come out. There it goes. Sorry again for the shoddy camera work. Uh, didn't have a lot of option. So, anyway. I didn't get that one quite all the way out. Now that one's my problem. There it goes. So, I got the back off. Uh, let's take out the cable. Nothing too special about it. Um, here's everything else. I'm just going to dump all the buttons out. Worry about that later. Uh, not the point of this video. So, yeah, here's the other one I've found. Um, as you can see, it's a white piece of plastic, and actually, I have a theory on this that the um, later, like that, that the plastic, this white plastic thing here, um, actually doesn't create as much dust or wear on the D-pad because it both feels smoother than my other ones with this um, black backing piece. And I know this isn't very scientific because it could be the exact same kind of plastic and I'm just dumb. But my belief is because based on just the amount of dust and crap that I found around it and the fact that the dust when I cleaned off with the Q-tip was black, my assumption is that this um, has been wearing away inside of the piece that it sits on, you know, like right there. And so... I mean, this just feels better to me, and it also is screwed in instead of using that weird toothpick removal pick thing, lock thing. I didn't know what it's on. Um, yeah, let me put this up here again. And, yeah, this, this one is super easy to remove. Just unscrew, and... Removing the screw and putting it down. Bingo. Popped right out. So. Yep, there's a... Uh, oops, well, let me turn down the level there. There we go. And, yep, so there's that piece right there. Pretty similar to the other one. And, uh, yeah, I'll put them side by side. Turn up that. There we go. So yeah, there's the two of them. Uh, they are both compatible, I do believe, uh, between the controllers. And uh, if anyone's curious, the only other difference I found between these controllers, made in uh, let's see, it was a manufactured country. Uh, one was made in Malaysia, and the other one was made in China. So. There you have it. I don't know if that means anything at all. It could just be manufacture time, even. But, cost of cutting measures, possibly. My Japan made six button also uses the black variant there. Uh, but it didn't appear to have as much of the black dust when I was cleaning it, so maybe it's dyed or something. This is all pseudoscience anyway. Um, so, yeah. Let's, uh, I think that's about it for this video. I mean, assembly is the reverse of removal, so to get it back in, uh, you put it, like put this down inside of the controller and from the other side, uh, this sandwiches together such that it kind of fits in like, if I can mount it, yeah, like that. So, yeah, nothing particularly special about that. It's just, yeah, that's how they work and that's how they hold in place. Uh, these are the better kind, in my opinion. I'm not going to open up the 6 button, because it is, again, exactly the same as the other kind inside. Except a little bit shallower, I do believe. Anyway, yep, there you have it. Uh, that's it. Have a good one.